All right, welcome to another episode of Home Projects with Carpenter. I've got my friend Dave here, and he's got a home wiring project with some exterior lights that we want to do a little bit of rehab to. So I'll turn over to Dave and kind of explain the vision for what we're going to do here today. All right, so we've got some string lights uh, that go throughout the yard that are uh, basically I've just been plugging into an extension cord and turning it on with a power strip. And then we also have uh, some lights for the patio cover here that were on a switch had some trouble with that uh, where the GFCI is tripping and whatnot so we want to basically uh, rehab that put it all on the same circuit and we're going to be using uh, this smart plug here so that we can control it with like an Alexa or an Apple phone so that uh, we can be inside and say turn on the outside lights and then everything will just come on. Okay so we've got Dave's wiring project and I'm just going to call this our diagram time it's actually one of my favorite parts of the whole kind of project I'll put this off to the side um, so I'm going to draw in as if this were like plan view kind of the the shape of my friend's uh, outdoor patio so this is looking down on the little table and there's got a small power supply here 120 volt power and this has I'm going to turn off this ink to shape here this comes in 120 volts through a box. There's a box right here, and then it goes through the wall into another. This is a GFCI. And it comes back out to that box and goes back downstream to a series of plugs and switches. But I'll just simplify it with another. I'm gonna zoom in on that. Uh, a switch that's that, or a, a receptacle that's working right. That's not actually working right now, and then. The premise of this whole project is he's got a series of these string lights. So if you imagine all these string lights out here that are going out to his patio. And they have, you know, you've seen the end of these things. They have these little receptacle, or these little, these little plugs that plug into your receptacle, like that. So we've got two of these, and those are going into those two. And he's actually got a whole nother, you know, like a power strip to another couple plugs. And then he's got a third circuit that's going out here to some overhead lights like that and then he's got some posts and some little little kind of candlestick looking things here so all these are your lights so if i were to draw these up into little circuits um, i've got more or less three circuits that i'm working on so I'll call this circuit one circuit two and circuit three and they're all just getting plugged kind of crudely just plugged into those things since this GFCI doesn't work, you end up having to run an extension cord out from, so this is this is how it's working right now. Extension cord. Da, 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 and then more plugs. But that's kind of a that's kind of gimmicky. That's kind of that's kind of lame. So we're gonna get rid of that whole program. We're going to get rid of this extension cord. We're going to use the existing wiring and fix it. The way we're going to fix it is we're going to get, abandon that GFCI. And if I were to draw in where the neutral wire is, it's doing this. It's going in here, and then the neutral wire is getting going down here. And the reason these aren't working, so this one right here is not working, and anything downstream doesn't work because of that GFCI. So we're going to abandon that one in place. We're going to just kind of get rid of that that guy. That guy's not going to be there anymore. And what we're going to do is wire everything together. We did check for power. I did check with my multimeter that that this power supply right here is actually functional. So we just wired these up so it connected, wired the neutrals up, and of course we had our ground wire that's coming in here, wired that up, connected. So now this one right here, we're actually going to – let me erase this. This one right here, we're going to replace that along with the, the ground wire, with a new, brand new, I'll draw it in blue. This is a new, new GFCI. And we're only going to use one of the receptacles. Okay? That one, and we're going to get rid of all this stuff here. This is not going to happen. What we're going to do is plug in, in, in place, into that GFCI, is the, the culmination of this whole program, and I'll draw it a little bit bigger, is this kind of smart switch thing here and this one has this will plug right in and it has three receptacles for series 
for ports one, two, and three. And this is all for like wiring it to your uh, to your smartphone. So this goes hooks right into your Wi-Fi, and you can hook it up to Alexa. So that one is going right in here. Okay, and then all of these numbers one, two, and three, they're going just like you you would imagine. This is going into here. This one's going into here, and this one's going into here. So you, you got the idea that once we get all that in place, it's pretty much your home free because then everything's all right. You can use the existing wiring. It's just that it's just this piece right here using this this smart switch thing was um, this thing was pretty cool. And you just bolt that down to the to the side, you know, this post right here. So you have it just kind of dangling in there, and you mount that thing, and it just plugs right in there. So so that's what we got going on. And uh, so that's our, our diagram time. Yeah. Okay, so this is the GFCI that keeps tripping and there's no power going to it right now. We've actually tested the wiring on the back side of it, which I'll, I'll point to in a second, but that's all hot. But up to this point, it is completely dead. So what we're gonna do is bypass this one. We're gonna rewire it from the back side. Okay, so here's the back side of it. And so the, the power comes in from the from down here it feeds into here it actually connects and is wired to the GFCI that's where the power is being killed from the two black and white the hot and neutral are are actually hot and neutral but they're killed from this point on so everything that's downstream is is not hot not live so what we're going to do is bypass that we'll, we'll rewire all this that GFCI will be abandoned in place and then we're going to do another GFCI a little bit further downstream for safety. And of course, we did go and turn off the circuit breaker for this. And I checked it with my multimeter to make sure it wasn't live when we were messing around with this hot wire. Just so everybody's clear. So what we did was, you notice that we've removed the GFCI out of here. So I pulled all the wiring out so that we could do a direct hard line connection in the box that's on the back side of this. That now made all the wiring live through this big heavy piece of conduit to this switch, which is on a three-way to the inside of the house. So all that works. So now we're back in business for, the, for it all being electrified out here. The next step is gonna be removing this piece right here and putting another GFCI out here that will plug that smart switch, this guy, into, which will be on the Alexa and all, so you can do it on your app. Pull these guys out. And then removing the, the old school switch. We had some three-way wiring up above that we're just gonna abandon. And that guy looks like the gasket's a little shot, so. Okay. This guy is good to go. So this guy should have enough flex to go wherever okay. we need him to go, I think. Okay, cool. Got it. Looks like you're going the right direction. Am I in the, am I in it? Yep. So we, uh, we registered this smart plug with uh, the Smart Life app, and then we've got it plugged into an extension cord right now just to test it to make sure it's going to work. So I've got the, uh, the app up here, so if I hit the all on, it should turn everything on. 
and you see the lights work in there, yep. and we'll turn it off. And then you can actually do individual uh, circuits as well, which we will set up later, but I just want to make sure that the Wi-Fi is actually working. So we should be good to go to hardwire this to our box now. Awesome. Screw the Loctite connector into the box now. If you notice, we actually had to take this thing off because when we originally mounted it, well, we forgot to wire it all up. So that's why we took it off and we're doing all the wiring on the, the conduit and everything after the fact. Okay. Thread these guys through here. It's always the fun part. And this guy will go into the conduit here and we'll lock it tight for a watertight seal. So half inch of the flex, a little gasket that's screwed in here, screw this one in first, and you got your exposed wires, real simple. And then the two ends right here, that's what we'll end up screwing in to the, uh, to the beam itself. Cool. Place. We'll back those two screws out just slightly so we can put the cover on because those end up holding the cover in place as well. All right, so here's the final assembly. We do have the hood that, uh, let's see if I can get it open here. It's pretty tight. It's nice, uh, nice watertight seal. And then, so that's going to be for the inside. We actually could only make it work for the top because of the, uh, the little throat on the bottom of that plug ends up catching on the bottom side right down there. But um, I think it's going to be okay. If we ever do want to use the top for, uh, you know, blenders, or whatever, you just move the plug down. But just so that we can keep it all sealed up all the time, just leave it like that. This is all nice, tight assembly. We added a block here for... The smart plug to dangle from so that's that's attached there and everything's nice and secure so I think it's a nice fit quite on set all right here we go so this is the app this is uh this is the culmination the capstone of the whole entire project it's nighttime and we got all three of the uh, three of the zones all ready to go so let's click it on and see what we got and anything no? Oh, wait, crap. Do we uh, flick on that GFCI? Ah, no, we need to reset that. There we go. Okay, hold All on. right, let's do that let's, a second. Let's reset. Okay. Take two. Let's see. We got right. everything tripped. Yep. GFCI is green. It should be ready to go. Okay. And let there be light. All right. Let's see if we got. Yes. We got it. All three zones. There we go. Perfect. Want to like try turn zone one on or off? Let's see what let's see what we got. Okay. That's ooh a little mood light for out above here. Okay. Then we got the other two. There's the. String lights one, string lights two. Yes. Dial it in. Nice. It's all good to go. So there we go. So that was uh, kind of the capstone on the whole thing. All right, here we go. So we finally got all our lights working. All three of our uh, smart switches are on. I think that uh, little toast for. Uh, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Nice. Very nice. Good job. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. So thanks for joining this episode and uh, hope you learned something about it and uh, look forward to checking you out on the next episode.